you're watching that's our princess so um so i have i you remember my last last life lesson video right so tweet out a lot of, i'd probably tweet out a lot of life lessons since then so there was like two pages full of life lessons so next first one is never ever say bad things about someone's sexuality because that's kind of offensive that's kind of rude you hurt your whole hurt your damn feelings for whatever happens to the psa i did well with you on jet okay never ever post your social security number on the internet because i think cream did and one of his videos got deleted somewhere now now from cyber heaven somewhere it takes a village to raise a child which was basically it's basically true even the best parents in the world can't raise a kid on their own okay don't misgender transgender people because that is offensive that is extremely offensive to be to transgender people never ever shove your enemies into found because that's kind of rude as well most of them are offensive next one is never ever try to knock down someone's glasses with a basketball during class because that happened in eighth grade to one of my classmates thank god it wasn't me next one is don't go to the hair salon on a school night because you're probably gonna be in that chair for like six hours like past your bedtime whatever yeah not the best thing in the world is do on the weekend or something or Maybe just get out of school early or something. I don't even know. This one is never hire Miley Moon to cook because he destroyed someone's. He destroyed Liana's dining experience. I'm sorry, Liana. I'm never getting your bestie to cook again for me. Okay, he's never cooked for me. Thank goodness. No offense, Miley Moon. <laughs> and next, you come across Cater, just start slapping him or her in the butt because. They deserve, they deserve to take their own medicine. He never assume someone is transgender just, just because they are a woman, a, a man dressed up as a woman on stilts. Maybe they just like to dress up like a woman on stilts. They're not actually transgender. Next one is no difference between Marley and Marley. It's kind of amazing, but you know. They both are two completely different things, with two completely different spellings. Marley, M-A-R-M-A-R-L-Y is, is my friend's name, my friend Marley's name. And then Marley is M-A-R-L-I-E, which is like Carly, my name. It's my, and my friend Miles' shippy name. And people always get that confused. Like, even in New Girl at School, she was like, she was like, does Marley have a Facebook and she spelled M-A-R-L-Y-I-E? And then I was like, um, and I was surprised she even knew because she's never met Milo before. So I was like, um, I was like, um, that's mine and my friend Milo's shipping name we've never even met yet. So kind of, I wish she misspelled or she got the Marley and Marley confused. I don't know what, what happened. Next one is, you can't choose your biggest fan. So, of course. Well, for sure it's Miley Moo, but if he wasn't even born, then it would have been Cream. He's, let me tell you, he's a bit self-centered and all he cares about is sneakers. And all he been. Yeah, no offense, I review you, if you're watching. I cannot choose my biggest fan. Like, when I was, like, sixth grade, seventh grade, I find biggest fan was going to be someone from a chorus, but then that didn't happen, did it? That didn't happen, I'm assuming. This is for all the senior boys out there. Never, ever, 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 ever mess with a freshman girl. Because I've heard they like to mess up, mess with freshman girls. Next says no means no. Don't rape. Don't rape. That's dangerous. It's dumb. It's stupid. Don't even do that. Don't even rape. Next is don't let Marleisha to get you food. Marleisha's Marleisha's a shipping name. That's all I need to know about Marleisha. Next one is about Marleisha. Marleisha and our butt slavery slaves or butlers. They have their own lives aside from the children they like to they take care of. Because they're good with children and stuff. If so one has to get crazy and one just helps out with the kids. Last but not least. Don't listen to Miley Moo's makeup advice. Horrible makeup advice. 
Just no offense to you, Mallory, but like, he comes up trying to tweet makeup advice. Pretty horrible. Like, okay. <laughs> okay, let me. Okay, I remember. Let me see. Wear the gloss, wear lip, lipstick to sleep, eat lotion, and put mascara on your leg hairs. And don't follow my advice, kids. If you guys follow my Mallory on Twitter, which I think you should, or maybe you shouldn't, you should, yeah, you should. I think you should because he's my biggest fan. Don't listen to his makeup advice. Just don't listen to his horrible makeup advice. Listen to his good advice instead about things. Okay. Well, anyway, don't do drugs, do says.